It's UPB here from OptionMillionaires.com. Thanks for joining me. Going to go over some trades possibilities, actually. Trade possibilities for tomorrow. That'll be June 6th. Friday, weekly options expire tomorrow. And we've seen in the last couple weeks, a lot of money to be made if you're positioned in the right stock. Even today, with options expiring tomorrow on some of the weekly options like Netflix, some tremendous gains, including Apple. Uh, how about DEC? DEC was up about 7% today. So, What we have to do, uh, it's more than 12 hours away from the opening bell tomorrow. We have a lot of time between now and then. Europe could just fall to pieces again. Uh, bond yields could just go through the roof. So there's no real telling exactly what's going to happen exactly at the open. But what we could do is look at some charts, try and figure out what we will do if everything just pretty much stabilizes overnight. We're just open where we left off today. Which brings, brings me to Win. Win. Win had an awesome reversal. Awesome reversal. Guys, pull, look at this chart. Kind of meandered there on Tuesday. Uh, we were off 4th of July. All the Win traders were just off, you know, shooting their fingers off, fireworks stuff. We tanked about 10 o'clock. We bottomed about 98.50 on, on Win and just took off from there. Now, if you want to look at Win, the $105 calls hit no bid today. Right down here. No bid. I close at 15 cents. Woo! Went as high as 29 cents, I believe. And that would be an option I'm looking for tomorrow because we've seen win, and that's, gosh, a 3% move. Win could do that in its sleep. So that's one trade I'm looking at tomorrow. That's win. Ticker W Y N N. Stock is at 101.82. I'm calling for it possibly. This is just a potential lotto ticket type play. A move to 105. And currently the 105s, they closed at 12 cents. So low of one cent. Let's go to another one. Guys, I nailed this one last week, didn't I? Baidu, why not? Can go to the, more, to, to the well more than once. And we went to the well last week. And we, <laughs> oh my goodness. It was a stellar day, stellar day. For those of you who weren't listening to my video last week after the bell or in the chat room, the Option Millionaires chat room, you would have never known. I got into the, 30, uh, the $110 Baidu calls at 37 cents last week, and that was Thursday. And then on Friday, those calls closed at $5. They were worth $5 per contract at the close. So I got uh, 10 of them for 370 If I had held through the close, <clears throat> sold right at the close, I would have turned 370 into five grand. Woohoo! That's what we're looking for when we're trading weekly options that expire the next day, and that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about tonight. So Baidu, the 120s. What are the odds we're going to hit 120 tomorrow? Let's pull back a little bit and see. We know Baidu can move. And this is the spike higher we saw. Guys, right down here. See this? <whistles> Guys and gals, I should say. Let me be, you know, be fair. There's a lot of gals out there. Probably pretty hot ones watching the charts. All right, yes, we hit our low here. And once again, like I was pointing out with GS, if you saw my... Uh, my video earlier today double bottom right here see this double bottom that's what i'm talking about right now with goldman sachs it's gold it's not goldman sachs guys change the name i put in the name name change already it's goldman spectacular double bottom look at that move we had and that's why i made my purchase and that's what i did with goldman spectacular uh, as well but anyway on the baidu pull back a little bit we're down look this is you can see why we pulled back here today at the end of the session about 117.75 that's a previous high recently. Pull back a little farther. And we're going to see uh, 121.50 here. Let me just pull across, guys. Gals, of course. Love you, gals. Tune in more often. And actually, if this line goes farther across, look, see that? Just go to the left a little more, about 122. Let me just extend that. Come on. Come on. Help me out here. There we go. Woo! Okay. Uh, just about there. A little over 122. That is the next line in the sand for Baidu. And you can almost make a case for a inverse head and shoulders for Baidu. And I do think this right here, this level, somewhere in here, it's not an exact science charting, but I do think this level here in the uh, 121 to 122 range is the next target for Baidu. Will it hit it tomorrow? It's possible. And that might be a position that you could take for a very cheap price. We might want to wait a little bit, half hour, hour into the open. When the Baidu 120s are probably at about 5 to $0.10, cents. right now they're at 
uh, let me see, boop, 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 boop. they're at 15 cents. <clears throat> and they were as low as one cent today, they went to 29 cents. So you could have got in today at one cent, pull back at the chart, you can see the decline we had at the open here, and you could have actually got in at one cent for the 120s, and probably right up here was the 29 cent value for the uh, 120s. Right now they're at uh, 15 cents. So we'll wait a little bit, but that's a possible trade, and why not? Like I said, go to the well more than once. Might as well throw it out there because it, it made your money the last time. Why not again? And how about Cena? Cena also made us money last week. I got into the 52.50s at $0.04. Cents. They went to $0.29. Cents. We had a great spike today. I thought we'd continue. We faded and just like we kind of petered out the rest of the day. After the spike, you might as well just sold your ops and just went home. Just, you know, oh, went to the beach. Stared at all the uh, scantily clad women. But I had a lot more fun than looking at this chart the rest of the day. Because it was just like, oh, boring. But, you see the spike we had? From 50, all the way up to $52 here. We could see a similar type spike tomorrow. What does that mean? That means the 52.50 calls that are at $0.17. Cents, currently, the bid was 12 Ask is 16. Um, those will have some value tomorrow. If we see a nice 2 3% spike in Cena, that's uh, roughly $1.50. That'll bring us to 52.70. Those calls will be worth $0.30 cents a double. And we've seen Cena move, gosh, 3% is like nothing for the stock. Stock can go 5 7% in a heartbeat. That's something to be watching. And finally, this is my, I'm going to get into this tomorrow, uh, especially if we open lower. SLV. I really like the $29 calls. Uh, had I been watching these at the close, I would have definitely got in. Uh, the last trade was $0.16 cents for the 27 strike. I like the SLV calls here. They're 16 by 17. Pull back a little bit. We've had some pops here. Silver's been very volatile. Look at all the gaps we've had. And <laughs> Well, see, now that I look at the chart... Uh, <laughs> We've had, you can almost put a case here for like, this is one of the weirdest head and shoulders I've seen here. There's the head. But we don't have the spikes here. They're just flat shoulders. Got to get a little padding in there to make it, you know, a little more voluptuous. <clears throat> it's a little shoulder. So we might just peter out in the uh, $26.80 to $26.90 range. Who knows? But uh, I do think, pull back a little farther. Come on, Jay. Pull it back. Come on. There we go. There we go. We got it. Um, and look, and this is always why I leave these lines up. Just extend it. Look at that. Woo right to today's low. And it's always good to have support and resistance lines there. Just for reference. But I do think we bounced off it. And I do think we're going to head over 27. Tomorrow. That's a play. And if we're down, even better. We might be able to get those calls for $0.05. Cents. Right now they're at $0.16 cents to close. So those are a few trades for you. Let me just review them. Review them for you. I I like the win. 105 calls in the morning. They close at 12 cents. Uh, looking to get them a little cheaper. Hopefully about 7, 8 cents. That's just tomorrow for a quick trade. They expire. All these options expire tomorrow. Baidu. Uh, $120 calls for 15 cents. Like those. Also would like to wait to see them to get a little cheaper. Cena, 5250s. Uh, last trade was $0.17. Cents. Would love to see that. I think the stock's going to go over 52 tomorrow. We get a nice push higher to 52.50. Even if the uh, stock doesn't go any higher than that, we might see a push uh, double or triple on those uh, options. And silver, SLV is the ETF track silver. $27 call, 16 by 17. Would love to have gotten in those before the close today, but I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy doing uh, an, uh, a video for everyone else out there. How unselfish am I? Just just so un unselfish uh, just to give up some potential profit like that and those silver calls. And you heard it here first. Let me write this down. Heard it here first from UPB. Those silver $27 calls are going to $30, uh, $30, yeah, 30 cents tomorrow. Called it right here. Nailed it. Nailed it. Going to write it down. All right, this is UPB here from OptionMillionaires.com. I'd love to have a, another beginner class. If you guys want to join me, just send me an email at upbstock at gmail.com. Send me an instant message. Send me a private message. Give me a high five. Slap on the behind. Whatever you want to do. 
All right, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Like I said, the uh, futures could just tank. They could rally. Who knows what's going to happen? But uh, from where I sit right now, this is the options that I'm looking to get into tomorrow. Win, Baidu, Cena. All calls, hopefully on a little bit of a dip. If we start dipping out of the open, wait until about 10, 15, 10, 30, an hour into the trading session before making a move. And then, of course, they expire the same day. So you want to get out of them, either for a loss or a gain, just get out. So, Okay, UPB here from OptionMillionaires.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.